I wanted to go somewhere where I could stand a chance of winning a national championship. And, uh, you know, when I got recruited uh, by a couple different schools, and West Virginia was the one that I felt like I had the best chance of winning that national championship. Now three national titles deep and counting into his collegiate career, Garrett Spurgeon's experience has been exactly what he had hoped for when he signed with the Mountaineer dynasty. And an almost surreal scenario considering just how far he's come since he first picked up a competitive rifle. You know, I didn't necessarily start as this. I started in 4-H uh, and worked my way through NRA and the, like the USA shooting and things like that. And when collegiate shooting became an option, you know, honestly, like it's a great education first class already so and then to, to get to do this through school you know to shoot with school while I'm getting an education is there's nothing like it. Comparatively speaking what Garrett accomplished in Alaska at the Nationals would be the equivalent of a local basketball product going on to be named MVP of the NCAA tournament. Garrett's overall two-day efforts earned him College Shooting's inaugural Top Performer Award in a year when his team set the second best aggregate score in NCAA tournament history. And he finished with 1,179 total points, including a 596 air rifle score in his quote-unquote lesser discipline. Honestly, I love shooting small bore. Uh, I feel like that is, that's my gun. And so... You know, when I'm on the line, that's the one I love shooting the most. It, you know, it's entertaining for me. Uh, I love doing it. More recently, I've, I've actually shot better air rifle um, with the help of some of my teammates. What's the camaraderie like? I mean, I mean, you guys are a pretty special elite group. I mean, and I gotta imagine it's pretty close knit. You touched on it. I mean, back and forth, you know, helping each other out to get to this level every year. That's a big part of being a three-time defending national champion, isn't it? Oh, it is. Our team is very close. Uh, you know, and there's. It's, it's close enough, you know, I can talk to my coach and tell him who I want to shoot on the line with because they make me shoot better. You know, I, um, you know there's uh, a girl, Jiva Dvorak, she's from Slovenia, and uh, if I shoot in front of her, it makes me shoot better because I know if I make a mistake when the match is over, she's going to let me hear about it. And so uh, I try not to make mistakes, and it's things like that, you know, that you really learn your teammates over the course of a year, two years, four years. And so it's, it's things like that that really help your team shoot great. Not to mention learning what it takes to coax greatness out of yourself. A lot of people think that us uh, shooters, we just hunt and things like that, and it's all NRA, and, it, and it's not. Like, there's a lot that goes into it, and it's an actual sport. Um, you know, and I talk to a lot of people that say there's a whole, you know, there's a whole other world out there that most people would never see unless you sit down and talk to one of us. And, you know, we have sports psychologists that we work with, and, you know, we act, we, our weight trainer is the same weight trainer that wrestling has, so... You know, we, we have access to some pretty great facilities and pretty great people. And, you know, without those people, none of this would be possible. But, yeah, I mean, there's a whole other aspect to competitive shooting. The main thing that it takes to be great is just hard work. You know, I've uh, worked for three years, and we practice anywhere from two to four hours a day after class. And, you know, we work out two days a week. And just the dedication and the hard work that it takes, the, the hours that we put in on the range, I think, is what separates us from a lot of other programs.